What's up guys, welcome back to DCA. So what we're gonna do now is take a look at the Bitcoin logarithmic regression curve. And the reason that we're doing this is to identify where we're at right now in the cycle and how does this compare to where we've been in prior cycles at this time. So we're going to take a look at this as well as some interesting dynamics that we see occur as we track the price of Bitcoin with relation to this upper regression band. So we have three regression bands that you can see here. An upper band, which is essentially taking the log regression curve for only the price peaks of each market cycle. We have this red band, which is the value for the log curve for all Bitcoin prices. So in on this uh, line here, we're basically taking all of the price data. And then finally, we're looking at this bottom line, which essentially takes the logarithmic regression curve only for the times when we're in the setting of a bear market. Right now, where are we at? Well, we are sitting right above, and I do mean right above. In fact, we came down and just touched this line both at in January and then again here in February. We touched this line and bounced off of it. So this is the log regression band, just the simple log regression band for Bitcoin. So it takes all of the price data. And when we look at this, you'll notice that the price has actually interacted with this line almost as an imaginary uh, support level in the past during these downtrends as well as the uptrends in the market cycle. So let's look at how you know almost neatly that the market breaks through this level sort of you know losing a level of support and then breaking down to this bottom band you can see that back in so we'll go all the way back to um, 2014 here so after the market cycle you know after this first peak in 2013 we came down and sort of held this level as support bounced off of it again and then went on the run to end the 2013 cycle we then came down to the fundamental value line which is right here and notice how we just held this line as a level of support, you know, while the bulls and the bears were fighting to decide whether the market would crash down, which it eventually ended up doing, in fact, doing so in dramatic fashion. So if we just look from this line here, we went down 55% in the matter of, you know, not very long, just, to, you know, about a month or so. Then we went down and actually went below this lower band of the regression curve. In fact, this is one of the few times we've done that. But notice we were actually only below it for a short amount of time. And even when we were below it, we were still actually going up in price overall from where our true low was right here. Okay, so all the way down to, you know, around $160. So that brings us to the next time. So we had the 2018 peak. We actually, for Bitcoin, peaked in late 2017, in December. And we had trended down for about a year, coming all the way down to this line. And then notice we started to again interact with this regression curve for Bitcoin, taking into account all price data. So we started interacting with it on October the 18th. We came down and bounced off of it bounced off of it again later in October into November, and then we had our price crash. So then we'll come to 2019, where you'll see we bounced off of it as resistance in May, broke through, bounced off of it a couple times as support, essentially from July all the way through here in September, and then we lost it as a support level, and then that's when we came back down here in late 2019. All right, we came back down to the lower logarithmic regression band. Obviously, COVID-19 occurred, a black swan event, so those are always going to be unpredictable. We came down and, you know, with, with this single wick, we were down uh, almost 40% <laughs> in a single day. So this was obviously quite the event. But then notice what happened. From here, we quickly recovered and got back to our lower log regression band. 
Now that brings us to where we're at now. And you know what we're seeing is we are currently bouncing off of this line. So in the past two market cycles, it has been an ominous sign. So in 2019, 2018, and back here in 2014, once we've made a new all-time high and come down to interact with this line, we've broken through to the downside, in fact. All right. So in that regard, you know, that would suggest that there's a possibility that we go to the downside. Now, you know, like I said, just because that's happened in the prior cycles does not mean by any means it has to happen this time. And in fact, if you go back to the double peak cycle that we had in 2013, after making an all time high and coming down to this line, we actually use this line to bounce off as support and go to a new all time high. In fact, from this line going up about, you know, 1400 <laughs> percent in you know about a half a year. So there is precedent, at least for holding this line of support in the setting of a downtrend and bouncing off going to new highs. So I think that's uh, it, I think at minimum, this is an interesting point for us to watch. I think we all know there's a lot of macro level uncertainty in the markets right now. And I think there's a, you know, a general feeling that this could kind of go either way at the moment. So the last thing that I would like to show you, and I just find this to be very interesting, and it doesn't mean that this has to hold true into this market cycle. But what we're doing here on this curve is showing you the top band. So the top regression band divided by the price. So when we look at that, so let's take an example right here, for instance. So right here, the top regression band suggested the price at this time could be at a maximum around $4,000. And the price at this time was around, you know, we'll just call it $400. So you would expect this value to be around 10. So we're taking the top divided by the bottom, All right? And that's what we see. So it's right around 10. Now, notice that when we do this, the top regression band, as the price moves away from it, and we divide the top by the actual price, you're seeing that the market cycle bottoms have occurred right along this line throughout the entire length of Bitcoin's history. And in fact, it occurs very smoothly almost along this line. There's several points like the COVID capitulation event where, you know, it goes slightly higher for a very short amount of time, as well as right here in 2015. But other than that, it's essentially moved exactly along this line. So when we have come up to this line, these have been historically the very best times to be buying Bitcoin. Now, I assure you that just because this has happened throughout the length of Bitcoin's history does not ensure that it will happen again. But it's interesting that, you know, this metric, in fact, probably more than many others that I've seen, has predicted where the market cycle bottoms will occur, okay? So when you're at these levels, you're historically at the best times to buy Bitcoin. In fact, it is identified very clearly where the best times to buy Bitcoin are, because each time you're down at this level, you're probably not gonna get a shot at buying for such a cheap price again. In fact, if you just look, realistically, there's almost been no time when you come to this level that you could have bought Bitcoin ever again at that price. So, you know, if you look here, you never got a chance to buy at that price ever again. If you look here, you never got a chance to buy at that price ever again. And same thing here. You have not got another chance to buy at that price ever again. So when you come to this line, so the price has extended from the logarithmic regression top band up to this level here, historically speaking, you have never got another shot at buying at that price ever again. It came and went and then it was gone. So in each instance that it's come back to this line, the price has been higher than any other time in the past. So that's something that we'll all be watching for. I know I will be. If we come back to this line and you know, 
you see that we're trending down right now, we're still above it, but it will be interesting to see if we're able to get back to that spot. So that's going to be it for this one, guys. If you guys like this type of content, hit like and subscribe. And until next time, as usual, see you.